Hi, my name is Michael de Miranda. Welcome to this lesson about Bolero. Bolero is a rhythm that is very slow. I think it's one of the slowest rhythms of, uh, of Latin America. And uh, let's start with the pattern for the bongo. Uh, the bongo is playing the martillo and uh, I've already explained it in several lessons, but I will show it again. Uh, it works like this. You start with your uh, thumb, your left uh, thumb is already on the skin and presses a little bit. So the first note that you make with your right hand sounds high, like this. After this note, the fingertips with your left hand are coming. Then again, your right hand is playing a stroke on this macho, like this. And after uh, uh, the stroke with your right hand, uh, the thump is coming again. So you have this. Okay, the second round is almost the same. You start again with the thump here, then the fingertips, and then your right hand is going to the hembra and place the open tone here. So you have the first round. Then here, yeah? And after this open tone here, uh, the thump is coming again. And this is the rhythm of Matteo and it's, uh, you repeat it this constantly. Like this. Of course, uh, when you are playing bongo, also in the bolero, you have a lot of freedom. You can make a lot of uh, variations. Uh, I will put a link in the description where I have already made a, a video with some variations that you can uh, make on the bongo. Okay, let's go to the next instrument, to the conga. The pattern for the conga starts with the palm of your left hand, then the fingers, and then a slap with your right hand. So you have one, two, three, four, and that's the beginning. After the slap, the left hand is playing a fingertip and a palm again, and then your right hand is going to the tumba with an open tone. So you have like this. <laughs> the next note, there are two possibilities. You can play a bass and then after this an open tone here, like this. Or most of the time uh, people play instead of the bass an open tone on the conga. So you have That's the pattern. Uh, when I was playing, uh, it's more than 25 years ago, when I was playing with a nice uh, charanga orchestra, we played some boleros too. And uh, the bongo cero and, and I decided that I didn't play the open tone here, but a bass, because when he was playing the martillo, he has his open tone on his hembra. So the melody is still the same. The but made by congas and bongo. So you have the buku paki ti tung tok tung. That's what we decided. But of course you can play this open tone here on this conga too. You can play. Like this. Okay, let's go to the maracas. The maracas in bolero, the first note on the first beat, I play it here. Then, with the left hand, first a stroke at the back side of the maraca, and then the front. So you have... And then, this one is going in front, and you have... Like this. That's the most important part of the bolero. Like this. And then the strokes are uh, just on the beat. 
but my right hand is playing like this. And why am I playing it like this? Because bolero is a slow tempo and uh, because of the atmosphere in the bolero I like that the seeds in the maraca keep on rolling and keep on making noise. Uh, for me in bolero when I'm playing maracas it doesn't have to be staccato like this. For me I like this. So the seeds are constantly making noise. It's, I like this for bolero. But you don't have to do this. You can play it staccato too. Eh? So what I'm doing is... This is slow. But when you play it a little bit faster, the seeds get the room and the space to to roll and make more noise, like... Like this. This is the way I play the bolero on maracas. Let's go to the timbales. When you are playing timbales, uh, you also play a pattern like the maraca. Uh, you play on the sides of the timbales, the cascara sides. Um, but I will show it here because you can see it better. <laughs> uh, the first stroke you play is with your right hand, is on the beat, then there's a triplet, triplet coming. Left, right, left. Da da da, dum, da 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 dum, one two, three, four, and tam tagada dam. And then it's straight on. It's like this. That's what the timbales is playing, but playing on the sides, like here. That's the pattern for the timbales. Okay, let's combine all the patterns and see how the bolero is sounding. Okay, I hope you like this rhythm and I hope you can use it, this ballad rhythm from Latin America and uh, have fun with it and hope to see you next time. Bye bye!